Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this video, I'm going to come up with a like a basic concept of fuse. Do you know about fuse? What is the importance of fuse? You know, it's a conventional method of uh, protection. Okay, in the sense, like we'll understand, it is one of the conventional equipment safety measures. We'll get more details about fuse. Do you know what is the meaning of fuse? Yes, the definition says that a fuse is the simplest and oldest protective device used in all the electrical appliances. It acts as a safety barrier to protect equipment against overload. What is overload? Excess of current. Or we can say like a short circuit. You know, in the case of short circuit, current become infinity and voltage drop down to zero. It is one of the critical condition like uh, uh, where current is very high, ultimately high. Uh, so it may lead fire hazards. To overcome that, we require fuse. How about the construction of fuse? Of course, I wanted to give brief information about construction of fuse. So you know that the fuse is constructed using thin metal wire or a strip. It is made up of with a zinc, copper, aluminum or any type of alloy. Alloy means combination of two, one or two or more metal that is known as alloy. So it is usually mounted between two terminal and uh, fixed on the insulated base. That insulated base is usually made up of with one of the material called porcelain. You remember the word porcelain. Uh, you usually fuse connected in series only. Okay, fuse never connect in parallel. If it is connected series only, it will affect you. Else, the usage of fuse is uh, no use. Let me show you some diagrams of fuse so that you will understand uh, the details very easily. Uh, this kind of fuse you might have seen in the televisions, right? Also, this kind of uh, fuse you might have seen in your main switch, in the main switchboard. Nearby your main switchboard, there will be fuse, right? So here, as I said to you that it is connected between two contacts, correct? It is connected between two contacts. The base is made up of with one of the insulator called the porcelain material, right? It is made up of white colored one. You might have heard about that. You might have seen also, right? So here, whatever the fuse which you have seen in the television, that is called a HRC fuse, high rupturing capacity fuse, where whatever you have seen in the old houses and all, that is generally called a rewirable type fuse. Once it is broken because of overload current, what you will do? Again, you will be like rigging up, right? That's what exactly uh, happening in the case of uh, rewirable type fuse. Please do understand HRC and the re re rewirable type fuse. HRC fuse just like you use and throw. Once the short circuit is happened, we need to take out and remove, replace new one. Where rewirable we can do, we can replace with the thin wire once again. Don't use the thick wire because if you use the thick wire, what is the use? Because we have to protect the equipment against overcurrent, right? Or overload or short circuit. If I use the thick wire, how it is going to melt? No, it is ne it never melts. So better use the thin wire only. Okay, fuse wire decides based on the current rating of the equipment. Similarly, the fuse works based on the heating effect of electricity. Let us understand the working of fuse. In the normal condition, it carries the safer current without any overheating. During the abnormal condition, uh, we call like overload, short circuit, current rises beyond the safe limit. At that time, what will happen? The heat, heat will be generated. The fuse started melting and because of that, uh, it will interrupt between the two contacts. Current flow is going to be interrupted. Thereby, what will happen? Entire circuit is getting short, like a shutdown. I mean, no power. There is a uh, isolation between the supply and the load. How it is happening? Because of fuse. It is going to melt, right? So because of that, uh, the thing is, the fuse is going to melt and the main uh, like uh, the fuse is going to disconnect from supply from the load so that entire circuit is uh, like protected as you can see how the fuse is going to connect it of course i can say it's a cascade or series fan uh, so we have the supply here we are going to apply the single phase supply right single phase 230 volt 50 hertz you can say so here there is a spst switch is available then you are going to connect the fuse this is my equipment always remember that fuse will always connect series to the equipment so it will ensure overload protection. That is very, very important. Please do make sure that you should apply the fuse in series only. So this concept you can apply anywhere. Advantages, cheapest form of protection. We can easily change the element very fastly. Zero maintenance required. It follows uh, like a time inverse time current characteristics. What do you mean by inverse time current characteristics? Okay. So here you can plot the current versus time. So if I plot the current versus time, I am able to get hyperbolic graph. Why? Because for high current, high magnitude of current, uh, the fuse will act very fastly. That's what it is called the inverse characteristics of like uh, current and time. So for the lower like a uh, uh, like a fault, 
it will act little bit of time more. No problem, right? So this is actually called the inverse current time characteristics. So that is a, these are the important like uh, advantages of the fuse. Now I would like to talk about the major drawbacks of the fuse. What are the major shortfalls, shortcomings of the fuse? Yes, we have to take care the following short uh, shortcomings. That is protection of fuse is not reliable. Sometimes it may melt, sometimes it may not. It depends on the material or it depends on the magnitude of current. Yes, of course, we cannot uh, ensure. Uh, so, low braking capacity. Sometimes, though the fault is occurring, full uh, the it continuously keep passing the current. Right. Uh, fuse is a slow compared to circuit breaker. So, every time we cannot relay. Uh, fuse is not protected and circuit against the under voltage. That is another uh, the, another issue. Uh, the fusing element, the fuse is exposed to air. Hence, it is getting oxidized and it, uh, it does not work further because there will be a coating. Right. If it, if there is a coating. Like sometimes it will act like uh, it may never work. There is a possibility of uh, renewal by the fuse wire by wrong size. We people, what we will do, uh, sometimes we do by using the thick wire connection. Without seeing the rating, we will use the thick wire. Ultimately, the purpose will not be served. If I use the thick wire, will it burn or will it melt? Never. Though the fault current passed through the particular wire, it never melt. The fuse does not respond to the high voltage. Uh, it only uh, cares about the current flowing and not likely to melt, save the house case direct lighting strike. That is another uh, drawback. These are the major drawback we need to consider before installing the fuse. So there are pros and cons. Ultimately, I wanted to conclude the session. It is one of the cheapest and simplest safety device. Automatically break the circuit during the dangerous condition. Uh, stable and predictable performance it will uh, uh, like uh, showcase. But the main problem is it is not reliable always. While selecting the size, you should be very much careful. So for delicate instrument, we should not use fuse. That's another suggestion. Yes, to overcome that, we do use a circuit breaker. It makes and breaks the circuit. In the forthcoming session, I'm going to talk details about how does circuit breaker work? What are the functionality of circuit breaker? What are the types of circuit breaker? Where we can apply circuit breaker? Thank you very much for watching this video. I request you to like this video. Also, kindly share this video for the stakeholders, those who are working in the similar domain. Also, don't forget to comment uh, because your comments really help me to improve the further video, I'll be coming up with a new video with for the further improvement. Also, uh, if I want to get, if you want to get the similar kind of video, request you to subscribe the channel uh, so that you will be getting all the similar kind of electrical and electronics videos related to my channel. Even I have started a new channel on Python programming, which will be applicable for electrical engineers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you happy learning. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you.